G'day guys, welcome back. I'm going to try again with the Platinum 360 Plus today to do 3D blooms and I'm going to do something similar to what I did the other day using the Promarine and just the metallic pigment pastes. So you know that one I did with the blues and the silver? So I'm going to go again but I'm going to use some gold and purple and silver. So I'm just going to take this guy's temperature. He's been sitting in here for 10 minutes. I'm hoping he'll get to like 40 degrees and then I'll decant. Might even be hotter than that. But um, we'll see. 37 and a half. 38. 39 and a half. Okay, so 40. All right. So 40 degrees Celsius. Let me just clean my little probe here with some alcohol uh, so yeah I'm gonna decant that's what I did with the pro marine I waited till it got to 40 degrees and then I decanted so I'm gonna see if this 360 will act in a similar way so pour that into there I'm just gonna do two coasters hopefully I've left myself enough maybe not <laughs> I need 15 grams of each let me just actually I'll bring it over here now that that's, that's in there, it'll start, well, it won't start, like, stop um, curing, but it will slow down a little bit because it's got a wider surface area and it'll cool down a bit. So we'll let it sit in there and then I'll see if I can bring this back up to 40 degrees. I'm going to put 15 grams or half an ounce in each of these little cups. And those, that'll be for my three colours. 13, 14, 15. All right, let's see if I can get enough out of this last one. I made up 143 grams. So I did 100 grams of A and 43 grams of B. Um, this Platinum 360 is a two to one. I have two to ones and I have one to ones and you just have to remember to calculate a bit differently each time depending on which resin you're using but I have got a little chart there that I've made that I follow makes it easier all right 15 well wow, just made it 15 grams in each so that can sit there for a minute um, and hopefully just sort of cool down a little bit while I mix my colors I will ch check the temperature again in a little while and clean that off no it's stuck Right, let's torch this. And oh, this one's a bit full. I'm going to have to take some out. Poured a bit much in there. I need to allow some room for my colour. I probably don't need actually so much. But um, I just made up that amount. All right, let's see if that's any better. Um, I'm just going to grab myself a baby wipe, get organised. All right, how's that looking? Give that a bit of a torch. Just going to make sure that it doesn't overflow. Right, so colours today. Um, the gold, molten gold from Lorez. And I'm going to do the same as I did with the other coasters. So I'm just going to give it a stir. A good mix up. Scrape the bottom. And then whatever's left on top is what's going in. This is just a small stick. Like it's not my big, big one. And then and it's not, that's my mixing one. So it's just the little sticks in case you're wondering different sticks you know will hold different amounts so <laughs> gonna be careful right this is electric blue by Lorez seems a bit thicker so may have to drip a little bit off no it doesn't want to drip all right so there we go wipe the bottom pop that in um, electric blue and then my last color is galaxy purple 
So what all metallics today, and um, I hope this is a metallic, or oh, it's getting a bit thick this one. I'm going to have to give it a water bath. I wonder if I can warm it. I don't know. That kind of worked. I'm going to have to stick it in a hot water bath and let it sort of get a bit more runny. Because they do solidify after a while. Okay, so that's that. Right, um, let's mix those up. Hopefully I haven't got too much in the purple now. Because it was so much thicker, probably put more on there. Alright, look at that colour, isn't that gorgeous? So it's warming up, feels nice and warm. Previously, when I've done the 360 plus, I've waited for 30 minutes or 35 minutes before I piped. It's got a longer working time and it's a bit of a thinner resin to the Promarine that I have done a few flowers with recently. And they're all different and you just need to keep notes if you're using different resins. Keep a little note, a little notebook handy on what time you stopped stirring and what time you decanted and what time you piped. Look, I guess you don't have to do that. It's just if something works and then you can look back and go, oh, that's right, I piped it 30 minutes. So you know that you can do that again. Whereas if you're not taking any notes, it's a little bit difficult to, um, to know what you did, hey. Or if it was blobby, then you can say, okay, well, I need to wait another 10 minutes. So, um, I need to, if I wait 30 minutes, I need to wait like an extra 10 minutes or so. So let me just check the temperature of this because I want this to get back up to about 40 before I start piping because it will have cooled down a bit. Thirty-seven. Oh, thirty-eight. Okay. Thirty-eight. Seven. Thirty-nine. Four. Hmm. Okay. Um. It's probably not going to work the same way then as the Pro Marine did because I piped at forty degrees. When I'm using the Platinum Ultra Clear, I wait till it gets to 50 degrees because I don't think that's going to be thick enough. feels quite runny to me. So I'm going to wait until my 30 minutes is up and then I'm going to check the temperature again and see what it's doing because it just doesn't feel thick enough to me at the moment. It's only been, it's only been 20 minutes. so. I will come back to you in another 10 minutes and uh, we'll see if it's thickened up. Right, -o. so we're coming up to the 30 minute mark and let's check this temperature. I don't know how accurate it was last time. It's kept moving, jumping around. 34, 35, 36, 37. 38, 39, let's wait till it gets to 40, there we go, 40. So, I'm happy with that, I'm get some piping done, I'm just going to clean off my little probe here, okay, so, and it's just about half an hour. Now I want to put just a little bit of gold glass in the center, some crushed glass. I think that'll be pretty. I use this little tiny spoon because it gives me a good amount. <laughs> it's easy to get it into the center too, like so. I just got that on Amazon. It didn't come in that tub. I bought the little tubs to put my glitters and things in. I'll just push that down. You can see that the resin is getting pretty thick and that's what you want. If, if it's too thin your coloured resin is just going to fall straight through and you'll get the blobbies. And 
nobody likes blobbies, do they? All right, let's just give that a quick torch because I've incorporated some air in that now. Okay, so um, what I'm going to do is, this one is going to be the dashes like I did last time. And then this one, I'm going to do something a little bit different and see if we can get a pretty pattern happening. So here we go. I'm just going to stir, wipe the bottom, and I'm going to do a little dash like so. I do need to make sure that they're wide enough, like I'm putting enough resin in there. Otherwise, they won't. Here we go. That's probably better. If the little line is too thin, they won't spread out enough. it just hasn't got very far like it hasn't got enough area to go I guess if I can explain myself <laughs> correctly they just need to be wide so that um, they can spread because if you have a little really thin little line I mean it can only spread so far can't it so try a thicker line and see if that helps All right, so that's that one I will put some more in now this one I want to try some lines. Like so. Let's see what that does. Whoops, I'm dripping. All right, let's change to the next color. Same thing, just drawing my little dashes in, the little lines. Oops, I've got a drip there, I'll have to put some gold there, won't I? I must remember to tilt my cup the other way so that I don't drip into it. Put a little bit of gold there where that drip is. All right, and this one, oops. I wasn't sure if I should start at the top and work my way down or the other way, but then if I thought I start at the top, I might get a big blob at the top. So I'm doing it this way. We'll see. It might look terrible, I don't know. All right, now the purple. It's a lovely shade of purple, isn't it, this one? Whoops, I'm dripping. So I'm trying to rush now because I don't want to run out of time. And then my mix starts thickening up. I guess that's always a, a problem, like if you wait too long and your mix starts thickening up. I don't think it matters too much if you have a few little blobbies, they're all going to be closed over and mixed in. We see any movement yet? I'm not looking, I'm concentrating on my piping, but can you see any blooming yet? Okay, I'll put a little bit more of the blue. See if I can get one in here. Trying to fill up as much, oh, I dripped. Trying to fill up as much area as I can. Not too, too much. Mm. 
And that one in there. Another bit of gold. Oops, looking a little bit messy here, isn't it? Hopefully it'll still work. to get some more blue in there, a little tiny bit. I don't think I can really fit much more in there. Can I? Now this one's full. Actually, now that I can, I can see a little spot where I can put a tiny bit more blue just there. Once it's started to bloom, well, hopefully it'll bloom. Once if it starts to bloom, then I'll do my little swirl in the center. I think I better leave it because um, you know the resin's getting pretty thick now so if I keep going um, and I you know I take up too much time the resin's going to get really quite thick and then it's not going to move and then I'll end up with just these straight lines that won't bloom because my resin's too thick for, <laughs> for any movement to happen so that can happen too if you're not careful let me clean up so I'm just going to wait just a, a minute or two and see if it's going to bloom and then I'll swirl both of them. Clean up while I can. Much easier cleaning up now than it is later on when your resin's thickened up, isn't it? I don't know what's going on here. going to release that from the edge of the mold. I don't want them touching the mold if I can help it. Looking a bit messy over here where I was rushing. Look, just releasing the all the colour from the edge of the mold. Same here. Because it gets caught on the mold and then doesn't really want to move. Okay, now let's give it a bit of a torch. Now it can take a while to, to bloom, you know, to do its thing and spread, so try to be patient. I've still got some colour left, but I'm not going to add it because, like I said, it's, you know, my resin's starting to get thick now, so if I put that in there, it may well not spread. Okay, I'm just cleaning up while I've got my gloves on and then I can take them off. Actually, I won't take them off just yet because I want to swirl. Where's my stick gone? Here. All right. <gasps> Some bubbles. I wonder if I should give it just a tiny bit of heat. I might give it a bit of heat from my heat gun. On high. Let's wait for it to warm up. do anything but just a tiny bit. Alright, let's swirl these babies. This one doesn't look as if it's doing much. So I'm gonna so I wanted to leave the center clear and with any luck like some of that resin will close in anyway and my swirl will sort of close it as well but I didn't want to put too much color right there. So um, let's just no, I better not. Let's I'll just see if I can encourage that one to spread a little bit. All right, here we go. I'm going to pull through these ones. And I may just increase that little circle there. Like so. All right, that's looking good. Same with this one. I'm going to just swirl around there and then kind of try and 
bring the color into the middle a little bit like so it's looking pretty my blue is a bit thick there that <laughs> doesn't matter all right let's leave it like that and see what happens oh gosh hope it works now i'll talk to you again just because i've incorporated some air while i was swirling or twirling all right now let me take my gloves off and i'll bring you down just throw my rubbish out bring you down for a bit of a close-up and uh, we'll see what it's doing and then we'll just have to wait like 10 minutes also to see if it's going to change much because it could keep moving for you know 10 15 20 minutes so don't be disheartened if it doesn't move straight away just give it some time oh look it's working is that gold touching the edge there i thought i loosened it so the only thing I can see really is I'm going to have some blank spots here. Hopefully that'll kind of touch up with that one. But I probably needed to put a little bit more colour in there. But um, I thought if I put too much in, they're just going to kind of all meld onto each other and you're not going to see the different colours. But I probably could have yeah, put another bit of gold just in there. Oh, that's just being picky okay let's go and look at this one yeah so you know how the resin pulls from the outside in so it's gonna I guess want to follow and just go straight down instead of out to the sides like to widen whereas this one you know the whole area was going down whereas these are totally different I've only got a thin area so hopefully it'll kind of pull down and then in I don't know we'll see what happens okay um, I will come back to you in about um, half an hour maybe and see see if it's changed this one definitely looks as if it's going to work so yay this one those ones are blooming Anyway, we'll just we'll just see what happens because that one might not do as much as this one because of the shape. But I wanted to test it. All right, I will see you soon. So it's been about five minutes. This one doesn't really seem to have done very much. I'm thinking maybe I did my lines too thin because I started in the middle and then by the time I got out there they were quite thin and kind of wispy. So that may be the problem. I think next time I'll start at the outside and go in that way it's thicker and, and see if it'll move better that way because I have got a few there that have spread but most of them not but this guy he's doing really nicely look at that closing in beautifully so I don't mind if everything doesn't close in I don't mind a bit of transparency but I think next time I'll add a few more little dashes so that I haven't got too too many blank spaces so there we go that's looking promising that one so um well this resin sets up pretty quick so I can unmold it in you know six hours so I'll unmold it later on today so yay hopefully it won't be blobby on the other side <laughs> all right I'll see you soon righto so it's the next day now as you can see this one really hasn't done very much at all hasn't spread and I do think it's because I made my little lines too thin but we'll get it out and have a little look anyway but I'd like to do this again because I would like to get it right let's move you out of the way for a minute I would like to get it right so let's have a little look see these, these couple over here bloomed nicely so anyway we will persist let's have a look the back <laughs> look at that gee the gold was heavier than the other wasn't it Got a bit of droppage there from that the gold dropped more so there you go like it's it's an interesting look so that I need to work on that I can definitely 
improve on that one all right let's have a look at this one this one I'm hoping is going to to work let's get that out Oi, let go got an overflow there let go of my mold just need to file that little bit there all right let's have a look look how sparkly it is really really love these metallic pastes I haven't really done much with them, but I will in the future. All right, here we go. Oh, wow, that is so pretty. That's so pretty. Like there's a little bit of the gold that's kind of dropped down there. Maybe I made that one a bit too, too thick. <laughs> and the rest of them, like you're always going to see a little bit of that edge there, which is fine. But that one probably, maybe I put too much in there and it's going a bit heavy. Definitely try these again. Gives a real 3D look, doesn't it? That's so pretty. And what do you think of my little gold centre? It's sparkling away there. Oh, it's really nice. Happy with that one. Not so much the other one, but I'm happy with this one. So... Um, I have ordered some more pigment pastes in different colours, so I would like to make a few more of these because I just think they look so pretty and sparkly. Here it is. Hopefully it's focusing. <laughs> I figured if I, if I move too fast, it doesn't focus. I think it like refocuses every three seconds, something like that. So I've got to go slowly. <laughs> I keep forgetting. So anyway, there it is. Hope you've enjoyed that video. There will be more to come for sure. And um, I will see you real soon for the next one. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.